It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer and I'm super excited today to bring you a Polish version of a Vienna Lager. Now Vienna Lager is one of my favourite styles of beer. I never, I really get to drink it because it's not readily available in the UK. But I mean this one is. So if this one's good and I picked it up in a Polish shop in Cardiff about seven miles away. If this one's good, then I can see myself pop into this Polish shop more often just for this Vienna Lager. So I got my fingers crossed for this one. It's part of the Brava Tiski, uh, Tiski Brewery. We've all seen Tiski, big, big Polish lager company. Uh, this is the Kjas uh, Szyzwony Lager, Vienna Lager at 4.9% ABV. 500 milliliter bottle. Uh, there's the bottle cap, red bottle cap. Two pounds fifty a bottle. Fingers crossed then. Um, so Vienna Lager. I have been able to buy Vienna Lagers on my blade, which is a eight liter beer machine. Fit kegs to it. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, other other Vienna Lagers I've had in the past. I've had some Australian Vienna Lagers. I've ac actually had some Austrian Vienna Lagers, but it would be my it would be a reason for me to go to Austria just to drink Vienna Lager. Good bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass. So Vienna Lager then is exactly what this is. Look, it's a darker lager. It's not. It's not like a Swartz beard, it's not like a black lager, a dark lager, totally dark lager. It's more kind of like, what I get from Vienna lager usually is that I like a lot of breadiness in my beer. I like my beer to be kind of biscuity and bready. And when you combine that with a lager, a refreshing lager, that lovely biscuity, bready, wholemeal bread flavour that you get, plus that refreshingness of a lager with some carbonation and, and being cold from the fridge. Oh, it's, it's wonderful. That's why I like the style of beer so much. So let's have a look at it then. One to two finger, ever so slightly off white head. Good levels of carbonation. The, oh, there is there is a little there is a little widget in the bottom of this Hofmeister glass. I wasn't kind of expecting that, but it's clear, clear and kind of mahogany in colour. Let's get the aroma then. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm, smells really good this. Like brown bread. Yeah, that's exactly, it's exactly the aroma. A, a, a lager that's been, it, 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 it's like brown bread that's been dunked in lager. And you're smelling that wet, soggy brown bread. <laughs> Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Prost. Nastravi. Yeah, that's nice. That's really nice. Crisp, refreshing, drinkable, lovely, dark lager. Mm. Oh, that's fantastic. Took a, took a couple of tastes to, to really kind of like <clears throat> get my head around it. You might hear I'm a bit, I'm a bit growly, I'm a bit, just a little bit coldy. So it's taking me a couple of tastes to really 
get my gums around this one. Oh. Nutty, biscuity, bready. A little bit of a creamy rich mouthfeel, but massively, massively refreshing. Beautiful carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth, releases more of the flavour. It starts off, there's a little bit of sweetness there, but there's a nice amount of bitterness on the back end. It's really just lovely. It, it, it's it's why I love Vienna Lager. I like I like a lot of Hellers these days. A lot of German Hellers Lager, a lot of Pilsners. But if you want, if you want to, <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> if you want to mix it up a little bit, if you want to change things up slightly, have something slightly different from a Hellers or a Pilsner. Then there's this, just something slightly more kind of rich and bold and bready. Mm. That. It's a joy to review beer when you're reviewing great beer like this. This doesn't feel like a slog. This doesn't feel like... I'm constantly looking at the clock. Have we have we got at least eight minutes in with our beer review? It's not a slog. This one. This is um. This this is just kind of me standing here, leaning leaning on the bar, just just enjoying life, talking to you guys about about great Vienna lager. Now I mentioned earlier on, I've never been to Vienna. I've never been to Austria. Um, they sing songs about Vienna, don't they? Uh, I'd love to go. For the culture, the history, the food, and of course, uh, the beer. Mm. So, uh, the, the, the I'm about to rate this, but the question is, on a personal level, am I going to swing by a Polish shop seven miles away for bottles of this Tisky Vienna Lager? The answer is yes. Yes, this is, this is for me, this is six bottles. Six bottles on a Saturday afternoon in the garden, in the sunshine, sitting back with the barbecue on, just enjoying life. Yeah, this is fantastic. IBU of 20, 4.9% ABV, £2.50 a bottle. I like that. I like that enough to give it a Stone the Crows 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.